Evans Timoney from the University of Kentucky. And today I am here with Dean Mitzi Vernon from the College of Design here at UK. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So we are kind of behind the Reynolds Building, which yes. is a building many people may not associate yet with the College of Design. So yep. tell us why we're here and what's going to be happening in this space. Well, you know, I think a lot of people see the tobacco warehouse or maybe just a warehouse. We think it's stunning. I mean, it's, it is really actually a simple body of masonry, timber, and steel. And to an architect, that's a perfect uh, level of ingredients for something that can be actually quite magical. Uh, we like that as a shell because that means we can do a lot with it. Uh, it's also great capacity. You know, it's about 140,000 square feet. We currently occupy somewhere between 65 and 70,000 on campus, so it gives us space to grow. Uh, it gives us an open atmosphere, which is something that, as far as I can tell, all of the programs have not had in their history here, uh, which I think is critical uh, to design education. So it's going to offer us um, space for growth, uh, space for experimentation in a way that we don't currently have. The other thing is it, it allows us to walk our talk and to do um, service to adaptive reuse. The greenest building is an existing building, so it gives us an opportunity to talk about sustainability uh, in how we exist and how we educate. So there are many things that make this ideal for us. I think the bigger vision is that we can pull art and design together. We will be in close proximity to one another. And I think there's more than one opportunity for collaboration because of our proximity and maybe even some shared space, if, if not immediately uh, in the future. So we, we look at that as opportune. We're also on the edge of the city. Uh, it's an exciting boundary to explore and you know we we consider ourselves uh, good city patrons and hope that that just uh, continues to build that relationship. How does this design project um, kind of help you meet one of the goals that you set when you came to the University of Kentucky? Well one of the first things I knew um, very early in my tenure, so I'm in my fourth year now, was that the college needed an opportunity for transformation. Uh, they had pulled pieces of the campus together into the College of Design in 2002, but there was really no way to unify them uh, pedagogically or, you know, or any, in any capacity to grow or expand, uh, not just in quantity, but also to grow programmatically without a unified space. So this allows them, all, all the programs to be together. It allows us to grow new programs. Uh, we have two new programs. Uh, one has been approved, the new Master of Urban, uh, Design, Urban and Environmental Design. Uh, and we also have a new pending product design program. So it expands our offerings, uh, but it also allows us to go from product to urban scale in the education of that environment. And I think that space, because of the nature of that building and its bones, will allow us to have very open, shared, visually open space. Um, and it also is really important uh, for technology. And it's, it can be a, de a new defining atmosphere for us. Um, and we look to kind of pull that in to the curriculum throughout the building but the kind of home base of being able to educate uh, and experiment, which is really important, I think, with technology, uh, that, that will allow us to do it. And we, we can envision that uh, without much difficulty, and we hope that the architect does the same. It's exciting to think about the college's future. Um, and now that we've kind of seen that a little bit, uh, the Reynolds Building, let's head across campus to kind of take a look at some of the things that students faculty and staff are working on currently. Very good. This, um, you are really looking at a complete resurgence of uh, the, the, what I call the garden level of Pence Hall. It really was a basement before, but as soon as we unearthed the windows, we were able to see that in fact, there was a lot of natural light down here and we wanted to make good use of it. This is kind of an assembly area for students um, outside of the kind of main machine areas. We hope that we're able to, with 
um, various forms of technology actually teach the assembly of technology, not just output. Uh, one of the things that we really try to articulate to students is that just because you can 3D print something doesn't mean that you should do that. So if you have a multiple options and you teach multiple options, what you want to do is teach the student how to critically think about which option is appropriate. And this is our robotics lab. Oh, made that one. <laughs> and, our, and our robotics guru. This is Puya. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. So we've kind of gone through the robotics lab. What else has been going on down here? Well, really and truly, this entire area has been transformed. We've got new woodworking equipment. We have a new tool crib. That's a great opportunity for students to kind of learn about tools and also how to be good stewards of them. But the biggest uh, new baby is the CNC router. So we actually had to kind of transform uh, this room in order to uh, even host the machine. But it is not just a CNC router, it really is a production tool. So it does more than just prototyping. It, it does a lot of heavy lifting. Uh, it can make things that are architectural in scale to product in scale. So we saw how the, the CNC router works, and now we see something that actually came yes. from that piece of machinery. Tell us about this. Yeah, and it's related to the Reynolds building, which we've seen. But this is uh, really a sizable scale model, bigger than we usually, I think, work in, a, in an academic studio. But it really begins to look at the detail. And you'll remember that I talked about the bones of the building. Mm -hmm. So this is really enabling us, and you can see in this model, this was a small model done uh, last spring term uh, with a group of students uh, working on really understanding the existing bones of the building. So now we're able to understand it at a much larger scale so that we can begin to appreciate the changes that need to occur uh, to kind of create space within that skeleton. But the CNC router did all of this, so. It is really about experiment and iteration. It is not just about output. It's really not about just getting to the end goal. It's about the journey and between that first moment of conception to assembling an idea. I think you want to teach a student how to assemble an idea, but also to assemble the thing they're trying to uh, give you as a solution or as the idea or the manifestation of what they've been working on, especially all term. I think that education is the most important thing that we do uh, for ourselves as human beings. And design is a way to elevate our existence. And if we're not rolling out of bed thinking about that every day, I don't know what we're doing. So a good liberal arts education allows you to do that. I think design is what I roll out of bed thinking about because I think it enables us to get to that higher plane of thought and I don't know what else we're doing if we're not doing that. Thank you so much for the time that you've taken yeah, today you. to show us around the College of Design and not just the present, but the future. Yeah, come back. Absolutely. If you would like more information on the UK College of Design, just visit the website on the screen.